Welcome to a very special episode of Garden Lawn Care Guy, where I finally got my new Alec Classic cylinder mower. In this episode, I'm going to be taking you through how I got the new mower, comparing it to some of my existing models, and loads of new content coming up on the channel. I've also close to reaching 5,000 subscribers. So here's the new Alec Classic, but before I get that, I want to take you through some other bits and pieces on the channel. We've just had our recent giveaway winners and two of the guys have sent me some pictures of the products that they've received. Uh, so thanks to Charlie and Chris for sending me some pics. We've also on Garden Lawn Care Guy Facebook headquarters, we've just got top fan badges. So I'd like to say a special thanks to all the top fans over there. That's Rob, Paul. Jonathan, Youngie, Chris, Susie Sue, Adam, William, Danny and Carlo and, and everyone else on Facebook. And then finally, where it all started on YouTube. All of my wonderful YouTube followers, thank you very much for subscribing to my channel and watching the videos and all the comments and great messages that we've had in the comments section below. But for now, here's a little story about how I got my first alley. I've been looking for quite some months to find ways to improve the channel and keep putting out great content. After I saw this cylinder mower pop up in Hereford, I absolutely couldn't resist going to pick it up and I was in for an absolute treat. It was a few hours drive from me in Cheshire, but when I got it back home, I was not disappointed. So I picked up this classic Alit 17 petrol cylinder mower. You can see from the condition, it's absolutely brilliant. The blades are all in great working order, the bodywork, there's no scuffs, the motor runs perfectly and I'm absolutely made up. This is a real, real good bit of kit. I've never used a petrol motor before, I've always been based on battery, so I'm really interested to see how this thing fares up against some of my other equipment. And it'll also mean dropping the height of cut down lower than it's ever been before. This is the grass box which sits on the front just lives on this little metal ledge that comes off. This is a self-propelled mower and also the cylinder and the self-propelling mechanism can be independently controlled and it's all powered by this 87cc engine. You can see on the front here there's a switch for on off ignition for the engine. You've got variable speed control. I think I'll be going for the turtle setting to start with. And you've got the trademark fantastic grass roller at the bottom. I think this is going to take my stripes to the next level and I can't wait to put out some good content for you guys. The mower sits on this front and rear roller as opposed to wheels and this is going to give me a nice smooth stripe. It's also produced in the UK in Stafford which is not too far away from where I live. And the weight of the machine is considerably heavier than my previous electric model which is going to mean I'm going to be able to take the grass right down and still get great looking stripes. I've also purchased a Bosch a cylinder mower, which is a push based mower. And this in the middle is my normal rotary mower. So I've got all three bases kind of covered. The petrol cylinder, the rotary electric in the middle and the manual push mower on the right. Between these three, I'm hopefully I'm going to be able to film loads of great content. So if you've got any content ideas that you'd like to see, drop me a comment in the description below and hopefully I can make some content that covers some of your ideas as well. This Bosch rotary mower has served me well so far and I've achieved most of the results on the channel using this rotary mower. But as I've started to get more into lawn care, I wanted to cut the grass lower and achieve a better finish. So I'm hoping that's what the cylinder is going to bring. I've also done a recent review on this Bosch so check it out in the card below if you want to see more information. Finally, here is the Bosch AHM 38G. This is a push mower, which has got a cylinder type blade on it. And this 
I'm hoping I'm going to do some comparisons between two or three of the different products. What I'm thinking is maybe using the two Bosch products on the front of the lawn and keeping the outlet for the back lawn to take it right down low. And I might set up some sort of contrast between the two lawns with the front having that longer look and the back having a classic English lawn look. The cylinder mower is quite simple in construction. It's got a rear roller which will be great for stripes and it's got an adjustable height setting so I can change the length of the cut. It's also quite lightweight and easy to move so I think this will be ideal just to lift out and chuck it on the front garden and see how we get on. Especially that we've just recently overseeded that patch so I'm hoping we can get some really good results. If you missed my renovation plan check the card out above for a full link to the renovation. I've got a couple more videos to finish off the renovation series including how much it will cost me and finalising the edges and then I'm going to launch a two new series. One of them is going to be around a journey that I've got from my rotary to my cylinder mower, some of the pros and cons and what to look for in each. You can see here I've been doing a few cuts and I'm getting some really good results. The other series I'm going to launch is around different grass seed comparisons. I know it's time we're building up to the renovation season so I wanted to try and give you some guys a different flavour of how different seeds perform and the different types of grasses available and that will form the main backbones of the channel. At the start of the month there will be the lawn care calendar video come out. I'm going to do one video on the seeds and one video on my cylinder to rotary journey. I'll also look to try and get a product review video in there and that'll be the four main videos I'll be publishing per month. I'm going to keep publishing great lawn care content for you guys. So if you like the content, please subscribe to my channel. Make sure you keep up to date on all the latest series and also don't forget to comment down below with any ideas you've got because I will be reading all the comments for any content suggestions. In the meantime, thanks for being a member of GLG and here's some videos that you might like to watch.